Welcome back, Nick Lynch's Comic Corner, Classic Slash Not Classic. This is episode number 446. And. Double shot with 300 seconds. Okay. Two Transformer trades. First up, it's Transformers Sins of the Records. This contains the entire. I believe this. I think it's. Uh, yeah, five issue miniseries written and drawn by Nick Rashidi. Yep. Now. Who are the Wreckers? They're basically a Black Ops group for the Autobots. That's essentially what they are. And remember, people like um, uh, RC. Um, let's see. Yeah, they have RC. Um, yes, RC. Yeah, RC. It's the Gen One version, not the one who appears in Prime. It's uh, that one, the one where she's pink. Now, yeah, they're led by. Uh, Springer. Yeah, they're led by him in this version. In the Prime Universe, they're led by Ultra Magnus. Yeah, they, they do like off the book stuff for Optimus Prime and they're kind of they're 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 known, but just that some of their activities are not very well known. And this is basically just a follow-up to to the previous miniseries, uh Last Day of the Wreckers. Now according to uh uh basically now there was th this series was originally called Spy Games. And uh, the editor, um, John Beaver, um, John Barber, he did approve of that series, but they couldn't get any time to fit it. So basically, this series may have elements of spy games. Yeah, it's it's a similar type of thing. Um, yeah, basically spy stuff. Plus, they even throw in a couple characters that basically are familiar faces. Like, they throw in... Let's see if I can find them here. They throw in... I'm trying to find them. Let's see. Yeah. Prowl shows up in here, but there's a familiar face from the Beast Wars series shows up in here as well. Let's see. Yeah, Cup's in here as well. He's actually remember remember them for some reason. Let's see. Where are you? Here we go. Tarantulas. Yeah, that's what he looks like in here. I think this. I heard this is supposed to be his uh, Transmail Two uh, form. So yeah, Tarantulas is in this universe. He's actually one of three uh, characters from the Beast Wars series to appear in this universe. They throw in Rat Trap and Black Dracula shows up in here as well. Heck, Ida One is here as well, and she's separate from RC. It's implied Ida One became RC, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, who else? Is there like one other character in here? Uh, let's see if I can find him here. Um, oh yeah, they throw in Tidal Wave. Yeah, Tidal Wave, a Decepticon from the Transformers Armada series. This guy is basically almost about the same size as a Titan. Yeah, he's bigger than freaking Megatron. Yeah, which, it's cool the fact they threw him in here, which is awesome. Though I think in here that he's picked that still a Decepticon, but in the Armada series, he pretty much had Soundwave's job. Basically functioning as their communications officer, and also kind of loosely being, uh... Directly under Me Megatron, just like Starscream is. Uh, this mini series is just pure awesome with his finest. Um, I do recommend playing Secret Transformer fans. I'll have a bunch of the other mini series for this universe of the IDW universe of, of reboot of Gen One. Yeah, they pretty much gave it the same treatment that Marvel gave the Ultimate Universe, basically doing like a rebooted version of the character. And, and because this was successful, that's the reason why we have the IDW version of GI Joe. I'm gonna give this nine out of ten. This is actually really good. All right, next up is Transformers vs. G.I. Joe by Tom Shirley and John Barber. This contains issues 9 through, uh, not 9, uh, 5 through 9. Yeah, this bizarre series that I thought initially when first it was announced was a miniseries. And this, this series has some of the most bizarre artwork, and there's much more dialogue than there should be. Yeah, I don't know why. I have no problem with the writing, it's just that there's way too much of it. That's just the problem with this series, is the fact there's way too much dialogue, and the artwork is just, just simply put, not very good. Though I do appreciate this cover, which is a, a homage to all Marvel comic books, basically, where the number is actually up here, instead of like, down the bottom, which I have heard that for Marvel, they are going to go back to this stuff, put a numbering on, in the corner where it should be, instead of like, on the bottom someplace. Uh, this is just okay. 
uh, for what it is. Um, yeah, basically, it's just Gen 1 characters. Now, unlike that comic book, which is connected to the IDW Connected Universe of, of the Hasbro Universe I have right now, this is just an alternate continuity. has nothing to do with the mainstream continuity. You know, yes, it's a crossover between Transformers and G.I. Joe, but it's not set in the Marvel continuity or the current continuity for IDW. This is its own continuity. It's a 13-issue series. And that's it. This is only the second volume. I first gave you the third volume. Now, am I going to give you the first volume? I don't know. As far as I know, the library doesn't, doesn't have the first volume. So I only got a chance to review volumes two and three. Um, I consider this to be okay. I'm going to give this a... I want to be nice to it. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. So, yeah. Another really short episode. Not much to talk about, but since Wreckers is really good if you're a Transformers fan. Uh... Not much of Transformers vs. G.I. Joe. One person called the artwork like really, really bad. It kind of is. But the writing is fine. I have no problem with the writing. It's just so many dialogue balloons in the book. And it's like the writer was trying so much to be like be like a, a, a classic 80s book. Way too hard. That's just the problem with the series, just in my opinion. Anyways. Okay, uh, that's really it for this episode. Stay tuned for uh, next episode when I get a chance to do it. Uh, well, basically, next episode is going to be two Black Panther trades. Yep, two Black Panther trades. And that'll be episode 247 and double shot number, not 247, 447 and double shot number 364. Okay? But until then, I will see you there. Bye.